Hey there, it's me Crystal and today I'm going to do a movie haul. So first movie up is X-Men, the original X-Men trilogy. So I've been wanting to get uh, this on Blu-ray for a while now because I wanted to get the digital copies. And so I let my brother borrow my DVD sometime last year. And he's had them for so long that I was just like, you know what? I don't want to get this anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> so my favorite one of these is actually the third one, The Last Stand. Um, I know a lot of people didn't like that one, but I loved Phoenix. I thought she did an amazing job. And I enjoyed watching her, like, tear up everything. Like, it was, it made for a good movie, right? So anyway, so I'm excited to have this and the digital copies. And next, I have Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. I saw this movie in the theater and I loved it. And my favorite part in the movie is when the Obscura is like breaking through all these like several layers of walls. And then there's like Percival Graves on one side. And then there's the Obscura on the other side. And I was like, this is the best thing I've ever seen. So, very excited to have this. Next up, I have this, Sucker Punch. So, I found out about this movie. I was watching a bunch of Evanescence music videos on YouTube. And on the sidebar, somebody... And on the sidebar, there was this video that somebody had made that had scenes from this movie um, to um, one of the songs from the soundtrack. It's a Sweet Dreams um, rendition by Emily Browning. And it's like really haunting and beautiful. And it was such a weird video, but I was really intrigued about the movie. So I rented it. And so the thing about the movie is there are kind of three layers to the movie. There's the real world, and then there's, like, this fictional world that she overlays on top of the real world. And then, like, within the fictional world, she, like, goes to, like, this fantasy world. Where she's, like, fighting dragons and, like, cyborgs, and it's, like, really strange. So when I finished the movie, my first thought was, what did I just watch? And my second thought was... I want to watch this again, and so I watched the movie again without, like, the dragon fighting and everything, and I don't know, I just found it really interesting, and, and so I was like, I'm going to watch it again. So I bought the movie, and I'm going to watch it again soon, probably without the dragon fighting, because that really didn't do anything for me, but I really like the rest of the movie. Next, I got this, Underworld Blood Wars. So I am an avid vampire fan. I have been for a long time. And I love these movies. Uh, Kate Beckinsale does a great job. I love Celine. Um, I want to have a marathon of all these movies again soon because I've only seen movie four once and I should have watched it before I saw this in the theater because I couldn't remember what happened. In movie four, like, all I remembered was she was looking for her daughter, and there were, like, these awesome giant werewolves. Like, I didn't even remember that guy. When I saw him in this movie, I was like, who's that guy I've never seen before in my life? Um, but everybody does a great job, and I'm looking forward to having a marathon with these movies soon. Next, I got Doctor Strange. <laughs> so, I... I've only seen Ben and the Cumberbatch in one other movie, and I think that's the second Star Wars movie. And I thought he did a great job, but I didn't get, like, why people were obsessed with Ben and the Cumberbatch. So, he was on Saturday Night Live, um, I think the weekend this movie came out, and then I went and saw it, um, I want to say the next weekend, and between that and this movie, I was like, Ben and the Cumberbatch is awesome. He's cool, he's talented, and he's, he did such a great job, and I love this movie, it's fun. And I've just really been thinking, can I please after project myself at night so that I can like write all night and get some sleep, you know? Like that's what I would use that skill set for, like that ability, for something noble like that. And lastly, I got this, Beauty and the Beast. I love this movie. It was perfect. It was beautiful. The casting was perfect. Just everything was amazing. So I haven't seen the live action Jungle Book movie yet. Um, I do want to see it soon. 
at least before it disappears from Netflix. So I really appreciated them sticking to like the original density version of this, especially with the singing. Like I didn't miss the singing in Maleficent because of the way they did it. Like it didn't feel like it was missing. And like I liked the Maleficent when I saw it in the theater, but like I don't like the thought of it in I don't ever want to see that movie again. And one of the problems I had with it, like, I love Maleficent. Like, she's one of my favorite bad guys, like, after Ursula and, like, Scar. And I was really disappointed that she didn't turn out to be bad. I'm like, that's part of the fun. And watching the movie from the point of view of a bad guy is watching them be bad. And I just don't like the thought of the movie. Like, the thought of having to see that movie again, like, makes me feel ill. But I did enjoy it in the theater. And then I got dragged to see Cinderella in the theater. I hate that movie. So, <laughs> like, in the um, original Disney version, like, Cinderella's parents die when she's very young. So she's basically suffering from some kind of abuse for like, I want to say an average of like seven to eight years, minimum of five years. And in the live action version, she's suffering for like, I don't know what, three months. And so when she's going through the woods one day and she meets the prince and he's like, what do they call you? And she's like, it doesn't matter what they call me. I'm like, shut your face. Like you've been suffering for three months. You've been pampered your whole life. Like you can't get through three months of them making fun of you and calling you names are you kidding me like I hated her and also like there was no singing and I kept waiting for them to break out in song and like unlike in Maleficent like in Cinderella the singing felt like it was missing yeah I just I just didn't like it and because I disliked it so much it made me kind of nervous about this one and I was thinking please don't mess this one up this is my favorite Disney movie after The Little Mermaid and but anyway no this is incredible like the acting was great Emma Watson did great all the all the actors did great and I really love the depth that the actors brought to the characters because like there was like this darkness and Gaston that was like really disturbing and it was amazing so yeah so I'm so excited to have it and I love what they did with it so these are all my shiny movies yeah so if you want you can like this video you can subscribe to the channel you can leave a comment you can check out the links in the description box and i will see you on another monday bye